A new day and two new additions to the Door of Hope family. Uh, okay, so I just arrived now from hospital with these two referrals uh, we have received from hospital. So there are two preemie babies. Hello, Auntie. The shelter that takes care of abandoned babies now has 73 babies it's caring for. That's three away from reaching capacity, which potentially means being forced to turn some new arrivals away. Baby number two, since uh, lockdown, we have received uh, more than 10 babies. Uh, that some I, came, I, came, I was referred by police and some came through our baby box. Some are coming from hospitals. According to Door of Hope, South Africa's national COVID-19 lockdown has resulted in a dramatic increase in babies being abandoned. We've got stats uh, between 16 homes and between 43 and 48 children have been taken in um, between these 16 homes. 38 referrals couldn't be taken in because the homes were full or the children were too old. Uh, so that to me is an alarming amount. Um, eight babies have been found dead um, all over the country since the end of April. So I think there's definitely an increase in um, baby and child abandonment since lockdown. Many adoption journeys have been put on hold completely during lockdown level five and four. This is due to the restrictions in the functioning of the Department of Social Development, which grants court dates. It's been a bit of a struggle for us um, because obviously our spaces are limited. Um, babies to go for adoption and reunification um, can hope will hopefully start taking place soon. Um, but we've managed to take in seven babies. We've got a couple of spaces left, but if we don't see the movement of children soon, then we are going to face a little bit of a struggle. While Level 3 should see a return to normal in the department, administrative backlogs mean shelters are struggling to keep up. Donations have also sadly dried up as bigger companies try to save every cent they can. A lot of non-profit organizations, even if they do get some funding from the department, they still need overheads to, uh, they've still got overheads to pay. So most homes still have to fundraise and there's definitely been a drop in financial donations because most corporates are closed. Door of Hope has, however, seen an increase in donations from individuals and this has really been such a big blessing to us because we are still able to care for our staff and for our babies. The organization, however, remains hopeful that each of their little babies will find a home soon. We have questions to ourselves. You ask yourself, like, uh, they will keep the baby very well the way us we are doing or those parents, they will take care about, the, about those babies or they will love them, give love or what. We have some questions and we are feeling sad because sometimes we have the favorite babies. But some, they come back and see us and then they, how old they are, they grown up and they, how beautiful they are.